Hey everybody, this is Aaron with GeoAce, and we are in the middle of a mini-series where we're covering how to set up Merge and Maps Community Edition server. Um, in the last tutorial, we set up the virtual machine and we set a static IP address so it doesn't change. And today what we're going to be doing is we're picking up the torch where we left off and setting up a domain with SSL, which basically just means HTTPS. Um, so uh, we're going to be, as usual, using Google Cloud today. And uh, the only prerequisite that we have is um, that you have a domain or a subdomain. And uh, you note that if you don't have one currently, you can even get one for free by going to noip.com. Basically, uh, it's just a way for you to get a your own host name. You don't necessarily get to, to set the whole thing, but you can free of cost get your own domain. I think it's on a 90 day rotation before you have to renew it. So with that being said, uh, we've covered the prerequisites. Let's go ahead and dive in and get started. I'm recording this after the fact. Uh, before you get started with the tutorial here, make sure you check your server. Just click on it and then go to edit and check for HTTPS and HTTP being allowed on the firewall. Just that these two check marks, make sure that they're good to go and uh, hit save. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on our virtual machine and perform a couple operations here to get this up to speed. You'll notice that I hit the start resume button. While it's firing up, you can go to um, it's an open source repository that we've created. It's github.com. I'm going to go ahead and split screen this. That way you can see the commands. Now that I've stalled, we should be up and running. Yeah, it looks like we're good to go here. I'll go ahead and hit SSH and we're going to connect to our instance and just check the show notes for this GitHub repository name. I'm going to go ahead and authorize here. All right, so you'll notice here that we've made some notes just about, I guess, pre setup, if you will. A lot of these virtual machines come kind of pre-cooked with Apache 2 running. We do not want that. So I would recommend just go ahead and run these first four commands real quick to make sure that you are um, not running Apache 2. Otherwise, it's going to interfere with the next steps. So let's just run through. All right, cool. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and clone this repository here. This is honestly, it's just an easy way to get SSL up and running. Um, you could do an on virtual machine installation of Nginx. This is kind of just what we use as our baseline stack before we start adding things like Merge and Map Server onto it. We're going to hit ls slash a to make sure that we have our repo. We do insert by nginx so i'm just going to go into that and it looks like we got everything we need um, from in here we basically need to make our startup script executable we need to make it runnable uh, so we're going to hit that command and then we need to make a directory for certbot to use so we're going to make directory conf and from there, we have a super simple environment file. So we're going we're gonna to copy the template that we've created here into a .env folder here. And then we're going to edit it. So um, nano.env. And you can see there's only two things that we need to fill out. The first is your contact email address. This is something that CertBot's going to send you basically saying, hey, you need to renew. I'll just put in mergentutorials.gmail.com and the app domain. In this case, the domain that we're going to be using today is openenterprise.net. Now this could be whatever your domain is or subdomain. We just have it going to the root openenterprise.net. We're going to hit exit. We're going to save. I guess one quick thing to note is nano docker compose dot. On the very last command here, there is a dry run that's commented out. For this use case or for this run, we want this dry run. So let's take out that comment. We're going to hit exit. Added in our dry run 
argument. And now all that's left to do is just run this thing. So docker compose up. And this is not going to give us SSL just yet, but this is setting the stage for it. All right, so now that that's good to go, we should be able to go to the IP address, not the domain, but go to the IP address and actually see a product here. So let's throw that in. It's going to be HTTP unsecured, not secure right there. And you can see that we have this fancy little hello world Docker whale. Um, and that means that everything is working correctly. You can also confirm everything's correctly by going to Docker PS. And you can see that we have uh, Nginx running right now and we have this hello world container going. Now we have this running through HTTP, but this is a video about HTTPS encryption. So um, in order to get that up and running, what we need to do is we need to go back here. We're going to go ahead and copy our IP address. We're going to need this. Um, and we're going to create a zone for it, a DNS zone. So DNS, cloud DNS. And then we're going to go ahead and enable the API. If this is your first time going to this API, you're going to get the same prompt that I just did. Um, it's no problem. Okay, so now that the API has been enabled, then we're going to go ahead and create this zone. So grab your domain name, whatever it may be. In our case, it's Open Enterprise. The zone name does not like dots or periods, so we're going to use hyphens for the name, the zone name. Uh, open enterprise net and then our dns name we must use the periods or dots so open enterprise dot net we're going to go ahead and hit create and see how quickly that went so we already have our zone created here there's just one more thing that we have to do we have to go to add standard and we're going to make two of them the first one is just going to be blank uh, unless you have a subdomain so if you have a subdomain you'd put subdomain.openenterprise.net in this case since we're going through the route we don't have to worry about that uh, it's time to live or time to launch we're just going to say five seconds and then we have to put the IP address of virtual machine. So that's why we copied it. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. We're going to hit create. And then gonna, we're going to do this one more time. So that's for HTTP uh, colon slash slash open enterprise dot net. Now we need to add in, I don't know who does this anymore, but just in case, www dot open enterprise dot net. And we will do the same thing. Uh, we just added the www, we're adding in the IP address, we're creating. We're done on the Google side. Um, now that we are done on the Google side, we need to go over to the SiteGround side. So let's go ahead and head over there. Quick note about the registrar. Um, again, we are using SiteGround. We have no affiliation with SiteGround or with Google Cloud for that matter. These are the tools that we use and so that's why I'm using them. You could be using Namecheap, GoDaddy, whatever. I'm just running through the process in SiteGround, one, because we use it, and two, because I feel like it's important that you at least see what you need to do in order to uh, get this thing off the ground. So um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and proceed. You can see that when you log in, you can go right to domains here, or if, if you don't have this exact screen, it's buried currently under services, domains, and then you click on the domain that you're using. In our case, it's openenterprise.net. Go to settings. Go to uh, DNS zone editor first, the order is important. And here you're able to uh, set a, a record on this end. So uh, remember that IP address you had pasted before? Well, you're gonna be using that again here. So I need to go and get it real quick. We do need these name servers. So I'm going to just go ahead and split screen so we can start copy pasting here in a sec. All right, so here's our Merge and Map server. We have our IP address. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it. Going back to SiteGround, we're going to paste it here. You can see that we're on an A record, so hit Create. And we're going to do, again, one more. And this one will be Create New, www.openenterprise.net. And we will turn this to five minutes. And we're going to paste our new address. We're going to hit create. 
Oh, I put 24 hours on our cache setting. We're going to go ahead and just reduce that to five minutes. And from here, we're going over to name servers. This should be familiar. We're doing the exact same thing as we did in Google a second ago. We're going to go to custom on this one. And now we can go back to uh, our DNS zones and start to paste in these name servers. And now hit confirm. Apparently you have to remove the periods. Sorry about that. And then we wait. Uh, one thing to note is that when you're first getting this set up with the domain and all that, that it could take up to 72 hours to do it. I have never seen it take 72 hours. I have seen it take multiple hours. So uh, generally speaking, I'm up and running usually within a half hour, but you might need to wait. I, I don't know what determines that. It's just something that happens. So anyway, I'm going to stop recording and then we'll hit start once this thing is completed. All right, looks like we have successfully changed. I just got that nice little alert up at the top. Theoretically, now we're actually good to start implementing SSL. But let's just make sure that even using HTTP, we can go unsecured to, in our case, openenterprise.net. There it is. So um, we are on the right track. You've stuck with me this long. Just stick with me a little bit longer. And so now we're going to go back into nano docker compose dot yml and see that big old dry run. We're going to comment that out. And now we're going to do a little container dance here. First, we have to remove the containers that we've been playing with. And after that, we're going to run the containers again to get the certificates now that our SSL pipes have been connected. You can see here SSL certificates not found using HTTP configuration, but then it's actually requesting the certificate and we've successfully received the certificate. And so now I'm gonna hit Control C to exit out of this. And we need to run this one more time. So let's remove the containers again. And this time will be our last time. We're just going to go docker compose up. Then we're going to put a hyphen and then D. Um, it's not following the logs of the containers. So the containers are running in the background. So docker PS, you can still see that they're up and running. And let's just make sure that we are fully functional now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put HTTPS colon slash slash openenterprise.net and you can see that we are good to go um, connection is secure and that's how you do it so on the next one we are finally going to stand up our merge and maps server so we'll see you next time and oh my gosh we are almost there thanks bye